Welcome into Chicago Bears Now. I am Harrison Graham. Today's video, Matt Nagy replacements again. We've done this a few times, but today I'm going to go through my dream list. Now, I want to pre-say pre this with no Bill Belichick. He's too unrealistic. So guys beyond Bill Belichick, not Nick Saban, like so at least guys who at least conceivably could be the Bears head coach next year are included on this list. Obviously, the reason Matt Nagy uh, must go is Bears have lost seven of eight games. Uh, and honestly, that game against the Packers was pretty eye-opening, especially in the second half with some of the decisions he made. Punting on fourth and inches down 11 points with no momentum was idiotic. Uh, he also kicked that late field goal, which was stupid as well. Uh, he's just in over his head at this point. The firing feels inevitable, inevitable at this point. Uh, for Matt Nagy, it's just a matter of when. I guess it'll be after the season. I would do it now so you can uh, jumpstart your coaching search. But uh, at the end of the day, uh, he must go. Matt Nagy must go. Uh, and uh, the Bears uh, need a new coach for 2022. Before we get to my dream list of Matt Nagy candidates, and we'll go from 10 to 1, subscribe. We're like 20 subs away from 38,000. So here's the deal. If the Bears fire Matt Nagy, we're going live to break it down and maybe pop some champagne as well. So subscribe. You don't want to miss that. Turn on those notifications so you're always notified when we do go live. But let's be a part of this channel as it grows. We're 26 subs away from 38,000. If you're watching live, hit that sub button, and let's get to 38,000 today. All right, my 10 candidates to replace Matt Nagy. Nathaniel Hackett, the offensive coordinator uh, for Green Bay. Now, obviously, uh, LaFleur runs the show up there, but... I think he's a sneaky candidate. I think Nathaniel Hackett is a sleeper candidate that we should consider. Number one, he's a part of a staff that has won a ton of games, albeit the Packers. Uh, but, hey, you should want to be the Packers, right? Uh, they've won 23 of 27 in this series. Yeah, they haven't won a bunch of Super Bowls recently, but they're in the NFC Championship game almost every year. Uh, I would take that based on what the Bears have been able to do. I think he's a sleeper. Uh, I think you can do better, but do not rule him out. I've seen his name float around a little bit, so I thought I would include him here as a potential Matt Nagy replacement. Now, this will be the pinned comment on today's uh, show, so take your time in answering it. Who is your dream head coach for the Bears? It can be anyone. Now, if you say Nick Saban, I'm just going to laugh because it's not going to happen, but you can type any name that you want. Your dream head coach for the Chicago Bears. You're about to get hit with a YouTube ad break, so scroll on down answer this question number nine Brian Dable Dable has slipped a little for me now I still like his offense and I still greatly appreciate the work he has done with Josh Allen in Buffalo although Allen slipped a bit this year here's what concerns me his lack of a run game worries me because the Bears are built to run the football with their running backs and they're Offensive line blocks better run schemes. Now, hopefully the O-line gets revamped a little bit and these young tackles become, you know, better players, et cetera, a new center, all that. But he, at times, he doesn't even try to run the football. Like, the last couple of years, Josh Allen has led the team in rushing in, in uh, Buffalo. You don't want that with Fields. You want to utilize Fields' feet, but you got David Montgomery. You have Khalil Herbert, uh, both under contract next year. So I don't I, – I need someone who's willing to run the football. Now, this isn't 1980 where you're going to run it 50 times a game, but – this should be an offense that runs the ball, runs a lot of play action, RPOs, uh, and is somewhat balanced, even as Fields continues to grow. If you have good backs and a good offensive line, running the football is still a smart thing in today's NFL. At number eight, Jim Harbaugh. Um, I like Harbaugh. I don't insanely love him, but this year he's done a hell of a job with Michigan. you got to give him props for that. Uh, listen, he might win a national championship this year. We'll see what shakes out. Obviously he played for the Bears, so there's that connection. I have him lower for a couple reasons. He's not my favorite, and but more importantly, and now I will say I would like to hire. If they made a move for Harbaugh, I'd be like, sweet, let's do it. This guy's coaching the Super Bowl. But I don't think it's super likely. So I've got him down at number eight uh, on this list. Uh, we'll see what shakes out with the Wolverines in the college football playoff. Now pick a head coach, and we'll get to this other one later on. Type JH for Jim Harbaugh. Type RD for Ryan Day. Two college coaches that have been linked to the Chicago Bears. Who would you rather have? I want to hear it from you guys right now. At number seven, Doug Peterson, the ex-Philadelphia Eagles head coach. I, look, if you told me they hired Peterson, I'd be fine with it. I've come around on him and the idea of it. Again, not my favorite, but the guy's won a Super Bowl. He's had success as an NFL head coach. Uh, and if you hire someone like that, I'm all in. I had concerns about how con 
how much he and Carson Wentz butted heads at the end of that time in Philadelphia. You don't want that with Fields. You don't want uh, a, a situation where uh, Fields wants out of Chicago. That's that's not a good thing. But he's won. He's a Super Bowl champ. He's got an innovative offense. I've come around on the idea of Doug Peters. Number six, Byron Leftwich, the offensive coordinator for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I would like this hire. I think he could connect with Fields really well. What he's done under Bruce Arians' uh, guidance in Tampa with Tom Brady and that offense has been impressive. Uh, I think that uh, he's a rising star in this league, and I think if you told me they hired Byron Leftwich, uh, I'd sign off on it. I'd be totally in, and I think he's uh, going to get an opportunity very soon, maybe even in this coaching si uh, cycle, whether it's with the Bears or someone else. Now, BetUS is today's sportsbook partner, and uh, we've got a jersey giveaway opportunity for you guys, so follow these steps right now. Go to chatsports.com slash bears, promo code bear down. Uh, you got to go to that link, though, chatsports.com slash bears. Like, if you just Google BetUS, then follow the rest of the steps, it's not going to work because uh, uh, it won't. Uh, we won't be able to recognize that you got going with our link. So got to use our link, chatsports.com slash bears. Use the promo code bear down for new customers only to supply. If you deposit 100 bucks, you get 125 for free. Then once you place a bet on any game for any amount, 5 bucks, 10 bucks, 50 bucks, I don't care how much you guys bet, as long as uh, you at least bet 5, which is the minimum at BetUS, email us, jersey at chatsports.com. We have Justin Fields Navy jerseys back in sale uh, for a limited time only. So this jersey giveaway, uh, back in stock, I should say, this jersey giveaway, uh, hey, these jerseys are flying off the shelf. So take advantage, uh, chatsports.com slash bears. Email us, jersey at chatsports.com. All right, top five Matt Nagy replacements, my dream list here. Josh McDaniels, listen, uh, I think Mac Jones is getting much better coaching than Justin Fields. So I let's bring that in here, right? Like I'm definitely intrigued by that. now. Obviously, some uh, maturity issues uh, in McDaniel's past. I don't think he was ready to be a head coach when he got the uh, uh, w when he got the Denver job. But and I didn't love how he treated the Colts, where he took that job and then he backed out. But you can't deny uh, the work he's doing right now with Mac Jones. You can't deny that he's a good offensive mind overall. I mean, he's 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 a really good offensive coordinator, man. Now. Sure, there's questions if he can be a great head coach, but I'm pretty confident that the offense would have pretty instant credibility if he came on board and coached this Bears football team. So I would be on board with this. It's a bit of a risk with his track record uh, from a maturity standpoint, but uh, I can't help but be impressed with what Mac Jones as a rookie quarterback has been able to do with New England. Kellen Moore, the offensive coordinator of the Cowboys, he's dipped a bit for me. Uh, I still really like him. Uh, if you told me they were going to hire him, I'm still on board. But Dallas has kind of been in a funk for like five or six weeks offensively, and uh, I think he's got to take some of the blame for that. I still love what he's been able to do with Dak Prescott, a player with a similar skill set to Justin Fields, uh, so that's positive. I still like his play calling for the most part. Dallas has had some offensive line issues, which I think uh, is a big reason why that offense has struggled. But I, I think his play calling at times has been a little questionable uh, over this stretch. But overall, his body of work with that offense is, is pretty solid. He's young. So if you hit on him, he's 32. You could have your guy for the next 20, 25 years, potentially. Now, that's very rare for that to happen in the NFL. But in theory, it's possible if you hit on Kellen Moore. I've got him at number four. Do you want to coach with head coaching experience? Obviously, Kellen Moore does not have that uh, at any level. He went straight from playing to be the quarterback's coach and now the OC with the Dallas Cowboys. Type Y for yes, type N for no. Do you want a coach with head coaching experience? Ryan Day has head coaching experience in college. Now, he hadn't been an NFL head coach, but he has been on some NFL coaching staffs. Uh, I'd be all in on Ryan Day. I would love Ryan Day in Chicago. He coaches. He coached Justin Fields for two years. No one knows him better uh, as a person, as a player. Uh, all the above, his leadership uh, uh, in, or tangibles, uh, no one knows him like Ryan Day does. I think he would fit like a glove with Fields. I think his offense translates to the NFL, so I would be all in on that. Uh, it's unclear if he's interested in jumping to the NFL right now. I think if he would jump, Chicago would be a very appealing uh, place for he and his family. How about Mike Tomlin? As we get to the top two here, and remember, this is my dream list. Uh, these top two are less likely, but at least a possibility. Look, the Steelers' future is in doubt. Let's be honest. Big Ben, he's toast. He's done. Uh, Mason Rudolph and Dwayne Haskins are not the answer at quarterback. Who's going to be the quarterback of that team long term? Now, if they can pull off a trade for Aaron Rodgers or 
let's say Deshaun Watson gets cleared, get someone like that, Russell Wilson maybe, that changes things, of course, and he would obviously want to stay. But could he look to get out of that situation and say, hey, you guys got to rebuild. I don't want to rebuild. Why don't we just agree to part ways, and I'll, I'll take this Chicago job. Or the Bears, of course, could trade for him as well. Uh, to get a sitting head coach, you either have to trade for him or he has to get out of his contract, which teams obviously don't have to let him do that. Uh, I like Mike Tomlin. He's a great leader. Uh, we know his Super Bowl resume. I think, what, two Super Bowls I think he has. He's been tremendous in Pittsburgh, but that team's future is in doubt at the most important position, whereas working it with a guy like Justin Fields could be very appealing. And then at number one, and uh, listen, if the Bears hired Sean Payton, which, again, under contract, would have to trade for him, or he'd have to get out of his uh, contract with the Saints, I would do cartwheels. I would do be popping champagne. If they hire Sean Payton, we're going live, and uh, you guys are going to be sending me super chats so I can get hammered because it's going to be a legendary day. It's going to be a legendary day if it happens. Like Pittsburgh, the Saints are in QB purgatory. Taysom Hill is not the guy. Jameis Winston tore his ACL. Uh, he ain't the guy either. Um, Trevor Simeon, no. Like, this this QB draft class, I don't know, man. Like, Peyton grew up in the suburbs of Chicago. I think if he were ever going to jump, this is as good a time as any uh, for Sean Peyton. I don't know how realistic it is. I know it's more realistic than, like, Bill Belichick is my top dream target. It's not going to happen. You're not getting Belichick. So, uh, I put Peyton and Tomlin one and two. I don't know how realistic it is. I, I think it's a greater than zero chance, uh, whereas I think Belichick is zero. But that's my list. That's my updated Matt Nagy replacements list, kind of my dream list here on today's show. So who's your dream head coach? I asked you before. I'm asking you again. You can pick anyone. Who would you want to coach the Bears if you could get anyone on the coaching market or even if they're not on the market? Like, say Bill Belichick if you want. I want to know from you guys on this one.